Today, we're going to be talking about the 2019 English language German horror film. Boy, that was a mouthful. Released on Netflix called The Silence. Starring Stanley Tucci. Sci-fi horror guy. I'm sitting there scrolling through Netflix, can't figure out what to watch. I stumble upon the silence and I'm reading the synopsis and I'm like, hmm. I think I've seen this movie before. I think I've seen it. A lot of reviews I've seen of The Silence, uh, they compare it to this movie. I don't think they can help that because it is very, very similar. The Silence was directed by John Leonetti, who did films like this, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. As long as the portal remains open, your world becomes my world. As long as I have the power, Khan, you will never rule this world. <laughs> he did films like Annabelle, which I don't have in my collection because, well, there's a reason. Because I did not like it, um, plain and simple. I don't really, this movie I can laugh at, it's stupid. But anyway, The Silence is based on the 2015 novel, I guess, of the same name. I've never read it. Um, by Tim Levin, I think. The film is about the world being under attack by a species of creature that hunts by sound. So, you have a deaf teenager, played by uh, Kiernan Shipka, 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 who seeks shelter with her family, a.k.a. Stanley Tucci's character. They're trying to survive because of these creatures that are flying overhead, and they cannot make a sound. Because these creatures will fly down and basically eat them alive. Uh, and then there's this cult that gets involved in like the third act of the film that really means nothing and it, it, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, I don't know why this cult is even there. It made no sense. This guy like sticks his, this priest like sticks his tongue out and his tongue is cut off. And he's like, <laughs> So it's like he can't talk, really. He can't talk, and then, and then the you know the girl can't hear. <clears throat> the cult seeks to take advantage of the deaf girl because of her fertility, but they don't go into detail with that. They don't even explain it. Okay, I'll, I'll get to that. Okay, I'll get to it. <clears throat> the creatures are kind of like, I want to say, they're, they're a mix between like a bat and like a dinosaur, like a small dinosaur. It, that, that's just what it looks like. It's like translucent uh, body. Uh, the wings are shaped like a pterodactyl almost. And they have like sharp teeth, but they can't see. They go by sound. They, that's how they hunt. 
in the beginning of the movie, these these researchers open this cave system, like this mine, and all these these <clears throat> creatures start flying out of there, a place where no man has pretty much gone, and <clears throat> now they're loose. Now they're flying over big U.S. cities and basically killing everybody. So the world is under attack, and Stanley Tucci finds out firsthand that these creatures hunt by sound because there's a part where the family is stuck in the jeep or the, or the van and he gets out um and he's standing right in front of this creature and he you know he, he's he's kind of just moving really slow he gets something to make a noise and the creature attacks the noise and completely ignores Stanley Tucci so he's like oh they hunt by sound so everyone shut up Um, Shipka actually learned American Sign Language for the film, which I can respect that. Um, she did a good job uh, as the deaf teen in this movie. I actually thought the acting was good. I didn't think, I had no problem with the acting whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> the characters were your, your typical family trying to survive a world that's gone into chaos pretty much i mean it's no different than this it it you you're gonna compare it to this movie uh for one thing i thought the creatures in the silence were not as intimidating as the ones here even though you don't get to see the ones here I, you let me take that back you get to see the ones in the quiet place but you don't um you know they're a lot bigger and a lot more intimidating but uh these little things it seems like they're more harmful in groups, and that's and that's it. They're they're flying around like birds, like a flock of birds. It almost reminds me of the birds movie because they're sitting on the, the 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 telephone poles and the wires, just sitting there to wait to, for you to make a move, like they do in the birds. And <clears throat> they're flying around, and you can't make any noise. But here's the thing: in this movie, Stanley Tucci's walking around with with his daughter they're just walking around they're trying to open the gate really slowly but they're making footsteps and stuff and it doesn't seem like they can hear that now in this movie they had to basically like walk barefoot or they had to to make like a a trail to actually walk on because if they walked in the grass or the gravel these creatures would hear that in 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 the silence they're just walking across country they're walking in the woods where there's obviously leaves and sticks on the ground and stuff like that they can't dodge everything and so they're obviously making some noise but they must be too goddamn deaf to hear it <clears throat> just some problems i had with the movie you know i don't think i i at, at no point in the movie did i feel that the family was really under any kind of danger because I felt it was too easy to get by these creatures and, and another thing you know these creatures are really small they're they're like this okay their wingspans come out but they're not you know you could just grab one like this and, and crush it the only thing is these creatures are fast if they die down in groups you're pretty much screwed it's almost like a imagine if you fell into the water with a bunch of piranhas those piranhas would come at every angle and start ripping you apart that's kind of like how this is. If if a lot of them come at you, then you're pretty much screwed. But if you're <clears throat> in a place where there's just a few of them, I don't understand what is so dangerous. I mean, they're in this store. There's this part where they're in this store. There's only like three of them. There's only three of them in the store. I'm thinking to myself like, fucking just get something to hit it with or smash it with. I mean... You don't want to make too much noise, I guess, because of the ones outside could actually try to come in. I get that part. But <clears throat> there's a certain situations where I'm like, these things are not intimidating. You know? I mean, the, these creatures actually make whatever was happening in Bird Box look better. <laughs> and a lot of people have said that. Like, Bird Box actually felt, um, you know, like, like whatever was going on was more of a uh, threat than than what's happening in this movie so the family <clears throat> is dealing with this tragedy they're trying to get across country they're trying to get to a safe place this stupid religious cult shows up with this guy who's just you know he's always being like shh 
and I, th I think they're called the Hushed or whatever, this group. Stoop! It, it didn't make any sense. The, these creatures can lay eggs, too. These creatures that, you know, once they kill the person, where they can lay eggs in, like, their stomachs and stuff like that. It's like, oh, it's like a callback to Alien in a way. But <clears throat> this, this, this cult group wants the deaf girl. They want the deaf girl because of her fertility or some stupid shit like that. They don't even explore that. They do not explore it. They show up at Stanley Tucci's house where he's staying at, this cult group, and they're like, oh, we want the girl, and then they leave. And then they, in the third act, it's all about them versus the cult. The cult shows up, and I'm not going to spoil you know, who dies, but somebody within the family gets hurt, and then another one, you know something happens to them and i knew exactly what was happening i knew i've seen enough horror movies to understand what they were trying to set up the only reason for the cult people to show up is so that that um there could be danger for one of the family members and that was it that's exactly what they were there for that's exactly what they so so something could happen to a family member that you weren't expecting but i was expecting it i knew exactly what was going to happen and sure enough it was the stupidest <clears throat> it made no no sense and there was no point to it because once it's all over and done they do not even explore that now if they were to if they were going to make a sequel maybe they could explain it but i don't think they will this cult group because they get so far away from this cult group after that they get so far away they go to this other place it doesn't make sense <clears throat> these creatures are called vesps what a stupid name. Vesps? <laughs> Vesps? I guess it's Spanish, uh, the Spanish word, uh, avispa. I think I'm saying that. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the Spanish. Avispa? Uh, which is, I guess, wasps? I don't know why John Leonetti thought of that, because these have nothing to do with wasps. Yeah, they swarm, but they swarm almost like bats. They don't swarm like wasps, okay? I don't know what the hell he was thinking. The thing, um, he tried to do some real research. Now, I do respect him for this, John Leonetti. <clears throat> he did some real research on, like, cave um, organisms, like, like uh, creatures that... You know, maybe he, I think he found some bone fragments or, or he researched bones and stuff of these creatures that were found in caves and things like that. And he fused that together to, to create the Vesps. And I, I have respect for the guy for that. At least he was trying something original in that way. Even though <clears throat> the creatures, you know, like I said, they remind me of... Actually, they're, they're almost like the Descent creatures from the Descent because... Those also hunted by smell and sound, and they couldn't see either. And so, and they had like a weird face to them with the sharp teeth. It just it reminded me, it's like they took the head of the descent creatures, put it on this tiny body, this winged little body, and there you go. You have a creature. It's almost like what they did, because remember, the descent was in caves too. Those were cave creatures. Anyway, <clears throat> I don't know if he was thinking about that or not. But that's all the film is. That's it. Your typical case, I, I think A Quiet Place did it better. I felt like the family in A Quiet Place was, um, I guess, in trouble more. And uh, I felt like they were always under pressure to try to get away from these creatures. And um, I felt like they were more intimidating, like I said. In, in the silence, I didn't feel like the family was in trouble. There were a couple parts that were, I guess, intense with the creatures. I, there's this one part where Stanley Tucci, see, they hunt by sound. <clears throat> Those machines that they use to eat up trees, they stick tree limbs into this machine, and it grinds them up and spits mulch out. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. The tree trimmers use those to, to eat up the tree branches. He turns that machine on, all the vests start coming down and diving into this machine and they're getting killed, they're getting chopped up coming out the other end. But they just keep flying in it. There you go, problem solved. Find one of those big ass machines or find a bunch of them, turn those fuckers on and they're gonna come down and swarm and they're all dead. The problem is at this point there's just so many of those things 
that they would probably clog the thing and, and break it. <clears throat> they didn't really explore that because Stanley Tucci turns it on, but you, you get to see him kill some of them and then that's it. I would have left the damn thing on or I, I you know, that's all you need to do. It'd be very, very simple to get rid of those things if they hunt by sound, especially if they're not as intimidating as the ones here. They, they can figure something out. I just didn't think the creatures were that intimidating. I, I didn't feel like the family was in that much trouble. And then they bring that stupid ass cult in there. It's like fucking children of the corn and he who walks behind the gay rose. Anyway, <clears throat> this movie was just okay. <clears throat> I don't think it was like a bad film, so to say. Uh, I guess for what for Netflix, I guess it's fine. I just thought it was okay. I enjoyed Bird Box more, and like I said, I enjoyed A Quiet Place. I guess for John Leonetti, I think it was one of his better films. That's not saying much, really. I mean, better than this. This is a guilty pleasure for me. I mean, this is so stupid. I can just laugh at it. But better than Annabelle? I'd say yeah. So, as far as his track record goes, I think this is one of his better tries. I just think the movie didn't offer anything new. It really didn't. <clears throat> Someone even said who was reviewing the movie, said that uh, the silence stands on its own compared to A Quiet Place because they brought in the cult people. So it stands on its own because of that. That's how it's different from this, is the stupid cult people that don't, don't have any... Th th there's nothing to these cult people that, that, that progresses the story. There's nothing that continues it. There's there's no reason for those people to be there other than make the movie longer and throw another obstacle for the family to get over. That's it. Because the family's already dealing with these stupid wing creatures. Now they got to deal with these people, and, and 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 suddenly it becomes the purge, or or the strangers. They start setting cell phones up. These cult people want to get the girl, so they go to the house where Stanley Tucci is. They start setting cell phones up, and the cell phones start ringing. And so that brings these creatures down after them. It's like they rigged the house that way. And it's and he's, you know, the stupid preacher, he's sitting there going, Shh, it's like that. Shut up! Rip your tongue out. I'll rip that goddamn finger off and shove it up your ass. Like, honestly. The movie's just okay. That's it. I, I, I wasn't like, oh my god, like blown away or anything. I don't think there was anything new <clears throat> that they did other than, I, like I said, I had respect for John, you know, for trying to create an original creature. Even though I don't think it was anything special, I just, I have respect for him for trying. Um, but that's it. And like I said, all the actors and actresses did fine. I don't think the acting was bad. I think it was uh, pretty good. And <clears throat> the effects, the gore effects, <clears throat> I can't <sighs> I can't really go into detail about the gore effects because they're quick shots. It shows a mutilated body here. It shows a mutilated body here. But it shows it so quick that I had to actually pause it to see it. Because it, it's, it's, like, it's like a quick pan. It's like, uh, uh, like this and... Or like this, it's like quick pans. I, I couldn't even see what I, I didn't even know what I was seeing. And then <clears throat> a couple people get, get mauled by these creatures and it doesn't even show the remains of it. So I don't know. I can't really say much other than I guess the effects were fine. That's about it. In some parts, the creatures look terrible. The CGI looked, yeah, absolutely terrible. It reminded me of Piranha. 3D. It reminded me instead of under the water the fish the bad looking CGI fish, it was like here we have the wing creatures in the sky, the bad CGI wing creatures. That's what it reminded me of. And in in certain moments in the movie, I it kind of pulled me out where it, I'm like am I watching a cartoon? Like what am I watching mixed with live action? And again, <clears throat> that could be the reason why you just don't find these creatures intimidating. I mean, I know I've said that over and over. It's just, that's how I really feel about it. I just, you know, I didn't feel anything. 
Um, so anyway, uh, that's my review of The Silence. You know, not really much to talk about. I don't want to give a lot of stuff away. I just wanted to talk about certain points. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you've seen The Silence. Like I said, right now it's available on Netflix. <clears throat> Um, you know, I was scrolling through there trying to find something to watch, and I thought it, you know, at least sounded interesting in a way, but I would rather watch this, for sure. So, hope you enjoyed this review. This is Rob signing off. See you guys next time.